Hello and welcome to the weekend edition. I'm Dr. King. We have a great show lineup for you. One of our guests uh, for this episode, Rose from a street kid, proceeded to be a hawker, then a watchman. He has technically been MCA Tricky, Vic Mas Luo Dollar, and Papa Shirandula in real life. <laughs> but now he's a member of the National Assembly. He is the sitting member of parliament for South Mogirango constituency. Honorable Silvanas Osoro is in the house. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And based on the subject of our show tonight, we really want to have a perspective of the ordinary Kenyan. So I stumbled upon this guy. Mlamwa, shida ilikuwa wapi? Aki bwana asifiwe. Mimi nilikuwa tu kwa nyumba nimerelax, nikapata inspiration at nishi yake mind ya popcorn nipike ugali nione itakuwaje. Aki wapendo ugali ilinifinyo kwa ukuta ili fura ingine kwa madirisha hata singeweza kupumua. That's one of my favorite works of uh one of our guests, Leo, he is currently one of the finest and funniest talents on the internet right now. He has created a brand that represents millions of people out there, a brand founded of, on making people happy. One Mlamwa is in the house! <laughs> Thank you. Asante Nisana, before we get to that part of the show, a big shout out to the notification gang. You guys are main re the main reason we camp on the trending list. Uh, from one show to the next. A big thank you to everyone also tuned in from home. Our esteemed uh, members of the Kenya Comments Association, not to forget Team Diaspora, Asanteni Sana. Feel free to give us your real-time feedback on today's episode. Use hashtag The Wicked Edition. My handles are at Dr. Underscore Kingori on Twitter and Instagram, Dr. Kingori on Facebook. Now, that said, so much to talk about this week, starting with uh, this gentleman who was nabbed with a car full of rolls of bang, and instead of defending himself, he decided to give police officers a lecture on the dynamics of bank of the bank business. Bank is coming here. We can only earn one million, eh? Then we have for ten years. So which means I have more than a hundred million over ten years. Over ten years. Over ten years. So we bank. We are very good at what? We see daily. Eh? How many people are there? We get a couple. We get a couple. We get a couple. We get a couple. Ata pombo kitaka kunyo ni yako Bangi kisema kana sasa watu wavute Hakuna mtu atabebe bangi Hakuna biyashara mtafanya Sababu kila mtu atapanda Utauzia nani? Utauzia nani? Kila mtu akipanda utauzia nani? Ni kama Uganda kila mtu amepanda Uu mepanda Eh? Uu mepanda Nyingi sana Nekakama kumna tani Fifteen? Huyo ni mtu wameshikwa na bangi alafu amekusanya polisi anawapea msomo juu ya bangi na manufaa yake. <laughs> This must be the Kiganja police training for you. Now after watching that I think the list of side effects of bang needs to be updated to include the element ya ukivuta bangi unasahau mali uko. And this is not the first time a weed peddler has been caught only to start treating police officers as clients. Inanipatia nguvu. Mwili yangu yote kama ni processes zote digestion si kujua mnasoma soma pia nini ina inazifanya ina catalyze zinaenda faster pia ku think ala kwa ni mku kwa kini kwa darasa kujibu swali specific specific sasa ukiniuliza swali general eh nyewe knowledge niko na mtaogopa ile tangu nini wenyewe mtakaa kuogopa nini wote hata wale wananipiga mama hips Now, now, this seems like a thing, a smoking bang and completely forgetting where you are and who you are addressing. Now, this actually explains my favorite clip on the internet right now. The setup of the clip is in an opposition rally. Alafu, I suspect one of the ODM supporters may have smoked something and thought he was in a jubilee meeting. Skia bangi hapo mwisho. Nitasema jambo moja kura ambao tulipiga tumeibwa 207 tukakuja tukaibwa 2013 2017 tuibwe kwa nini sisi ni wanawake haitawezekana ni sasa imebaki ngapi moja na italaza nani italaza omse ali I personally, I have personally watched that clip like 8,100 times, and I'm. But away from that, I'm so interested in this statement made by the latest bang lord. 
these guys just snitched on a whole country kila mtu akipanda utauzia nani ni kama ni kama uganda kila mtu amepanda now this is the second time on national television that kenyans have been shown that mtu wa bangi ya nyamazangi na kitu listen into his for him listen into listen into his excellency rich spice spilling the beans on his counterpart spilling the beans on his counterpart burning spear on live tv what do you tell waitito right now what do you tell him i think he used to smoke a lot of bangi when he was an mp i'm a witness to this we used to go to a certain toilet there. We used but to, governor, that, that's, that's not fair. We used to smoke a lot of bang in this guy. In that, fact, yeah. he was hiding bang in the socks. Go like this. <laughs> you can't say that on live he TV. So we many, don't have evidence. I have. We don't have. I am, I'm a witness. I used to smoke with him. Our nyamazangi na kitu. And you see, away from that again, I'm still stuck up kwa at Uganda kila mtu anapanda bangi. At first I felt that this is a very reckless statement, but then after doing some research on why someone would say something like that about our neighbors, I found it very hard to defend Ugandans. This is arguably the most watched interview in Africa and it is from Uganda. Toa bangi kwa hizo maswali and tell me what you're left with. We bring in the studio this morning one of the gay rights activists, Mr. Should I call you Mr. Sure. Pepe Julian Onzima? Thank you for coming in. Thank you for Good morning. Good morning to you. Why are you gay? <laughs> Who says I'm gay? You are gay. What <laughs> shows that I'm gay? Ow! Now, if that doesn't cut it, have a look at Ugandan members of parliament discussing how the opposition performs in every general election. <laughs> You see Bangi. And we can go on and on, but you already get the point. Dear Ugandans, I stand to be corrected. Use hashtag the wicked edition. Uh, that said, in other news, a fifth year J Quart engineering student, and it was Kibet Bera, was shot and later arrested after he tried to access State House through the fence armed with a knife. First of all, this is not the first time an engineer has tried to access State House <laughs> without success. Yes, yes. Kibet's case, Kibet's case, though, is a tricky one. Kenyans have expressed mixed reactions. Some people claim that Kibet is a hero. Others feel that this is a reflection of how depression is affecting millions of Kenyan youth out there. And this divide was very clear in the comment section on my Facebook page when I asked peop for people's opinion on this matter. According to Martha Modoni, uh, she says that the other day our president acknowledged that depression is real, so let him begin with helping this young man. According to someone else, and it was Jose Kim, uh, while referring to Kibet, he says he took a bullet for the troubled, stressed, and traumatized youth in this country, and he just sent a clear message to the government. Most of us who are actually, most of us are afraid to question the government. To me, he deserves respect. I got so many responses uh, of different opinions, some even pointing out how dangerous that move was and that the guy was actually lucky to be alive. But now, now that most people agree that depression is real, what is it that has to be done? What is it that should be done? We have covered depression on the show before and we've had a survivor, Marcus Olang, as a guest and the findings were that very many people are suffering in silence. Seems like more needs to be done on this issue of mental health and uh, depression. Share uh, your thoughts with us. Use hashtag the wicked edition. My handles are at Dr. Underscore Kingori on Twitter and Instagram, Dr. Kingori on Facebook. Tell us what you think should be done. Share your thoughts. Maybe help out as a part of solution. Now, uh, the new currency is already in circulation. I've had several complaints from uh, Kenyans from different areas uh, claiming that Ile Pesa Kitambo, Pia Wajaona. Yes, for real, that's legit. That's the main complaint I've seen. Our neighbors in, South, in East Africa, Uganda and Tanzania, have suspended foreign exchange with old Kenyan currency. For this and all the drama around the subject, we extend this conversation to the second part of the show with our guest, Mlamua and C Honorable Silvanas Osoro. See you guys in a bit.
Welcome back to the weekend edition. I'm Dr. Kingori. Like I said, uh, we have a great show lined up for you. We have uh, so much to talk about. Tukona story ya pesampia. Tukona story ya uwe jamali ngia state house na kisu. Kuna hita alikuwa na semati. Uwe jamali na kisu juu alikuwa anasikia mtu wezi ngia state house kwa ujadunga. Alafu. Most importantly, we have exciting guests for you. Kuna feedback ni mesikiati. For the first time, tuwa walete ya guests tuwa nafanana. But... Our guest on the show, our guest on the show tonight, ni uh, uh, Honorable uh, Silvana Sosoro wa kutoka South Mogirango na mlamua wapi makofi yao. Asante ni sana. Wazi mlamua, karibu sana. Aya, karibu ni sana kwa show yetu. Muko sawa? Tuko fit. Bono umetenzi, amo uka hivi kila time. <laughs> Mwesha una cheki vile mlamua metenzi? Uh, mlamua uko hivyo. Mlamua ananga confidence. Ananga confidence. <laughs> <laughs> confidence wanga social media. Ayuko shiwa. Uh. Nye nasema ni kama wako nae. Karibu ni sana kwa show. E, tukona vitu mobi sana za kudiscuss. Tuanza na mhesh. Nyi wote mkona story nzito sana. Eh, kwa industry very inspiring tumeambiwa tuko na responsibility ya ku inspire majamaa wenye wana watch kutoka home ma fans wa show badala ya kuwa depress eh, wenye mna watch home uh, feel free to join the conversation you can give us your real time feedback hashtag the wicked edition handles ni zile za kawaida at dr underscore kingori on twitter and instagram dr kingori on facebook na mheshimiwa uko kwa mtandao ndio yeah, niko snapchat oh. Niko. <laughs> niko Facebook, niko Twitter handle yako ni at Osoro Silvanas. At Osoro Silvanas. Mm. At Mulamwa. <laughs> Nini? <Ni, ni. laughs> Take yo yo him. At Mulamwa. Pati ya maji. <laughs> okay, ni at Mulamwa. Yeah. Kila mahali. Na at kila mahali. <laughs> Ushashika hiyo dom pia. Dom pia? Eh. Nimeishika bwana iko na material aluminium foil. <laughs> Eh, Mahesh ulikuwa chokochi. Eh, chokochi ni street boy. Hiyo ni slang ya kuongelea street boy. Eh, ukafika, ukakuwa hoka and uh -huh, na parliament. Ule ule chokochi ana watch sasa hii atafikaje parliament? <laughs> <laughs> ni sawa. Eh, nilika in the street for some time eh, wakati my parents died eh, nikiwa 7 years. Pole for that. Lakini nili pata different good samaritans na uh, relatives wengine nikaishi from one relative to another lakini ka maintain focus nika struggle actually in primary school nilisoma shule nane ndio nikamaliza class 8 one per year nilikuwa nasoma <laughs> actually nilikuwa nasoma term moja na fukuzi wanaenda kwingine hivyo inaitwa group of schools <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Yes. Alafu ni ka nikatoka hapo nikaenda high school na high school was the same. Yes. Na kama nilitoka pia nikasoma another group of schools. Uh, but this time round zilikuwa kidogo zilikuwa nne. Form 1 nilisoma term 1, term 2, shule ngine, term 3, but eventually by God's grace nikamaliza. Uh, ndiyo nikaja hapa Nairobi kwanza nikaanza kuza gazeti. Yes. Uh, za uh, gazeti nilikuwa naacha ID hapa standard. Napewa, oh that's how in happening. Unaenda unaacha gazeti. Unaacha ID unapewa gazeti. Huo. Mm. Unapewa gazeti. Eh uh, hiyo wakati gazeti ilikuwa 30 shillings. Mpya. Gazeti mpya. Eh gazeti ya. Sio kule nyona uzanga kwa butchery second. Eh kilo kilo, kilo moja 10 bob. Exactly. <laughs> yes. So nilikuwa na make 5 bob per paper. 35. The newspaper was 35. So uh, nika graduate nikaendelea nikaanza kuza biscuits. Eh nauza gazeti asubuhi. Alafu uh, nauza biscuits. Nilikuwa naishi mkuru kwa rubu. To cut the long story short ni uh -huh hiyo story ume experience na uko parliament side. exactly sahi ni kumbuka eh in the spirit of leo tunataka kuongelea story ya do mlamua pia the reason why i really wanted to have him on the show ni moja mlamua sahi una make a living from the internet yes. right ndio yeah. so kwa ma boys all hope is not lost mlamua anatumia phone na mtandao Evo. na bundles yes ni nini ni nini ilikufikisha hapo ya badala ya kutafuta job 
au tuambie ni nini maybe umesomea ni nini ulikuwa unataka kukua na vile umejipata ukifanya Okay mi personally nimekuwa Moi Moi University yes. so nimefanya nursing degree nimemaliza so nilichoose Nairobi KNH ndio at least nipate avenues za hapa tao kidogo nikifanya internship yangu hapo Kenyatta yes. at, the, at the same time nilikuwa najaribu auditions ziko mingi za acting za comedy stand up but zote unakuwa turned down unaona hakuna yenye ilipasa hakuna yenye nilipasa for like 2 years wezi pata so nikakubali ndio competition ni stiff na inafaa huku kukataa unajaribu na style nyingine so that's how i started my first clips as in i was just converting the stand up comedy jokes zikuje tu zikuwe tu clips zikuwe clips yeah so nikaanza tu kuziweka yeah Zikuwe na how long has it taken you hiyo process ya ku mpaka ufike place sahi msia anaweza kulipa kwa sababu ya jenye unafanya Okay, naweza sema waso amenijua for the past like tuseme 2 months, 3 hivyo. But ni kitu nilianza kitambo like 2011 huko ilikuwa na mekwa say happy nini. Kwa church ilianza church ya, ya shule CU by the way. Tukisema majina tu hapo ikatokea funny. So every time mimi ndo nilikuwa na katendrizia pastor una get. Yes. <laughs> so as in over time nika gain your content niko nayo. So like vile nilianza videos zina flow tu like it has been in me. Yeah, so sio kuangukia. Yeah. Nilikuwa nataka useme hiyo kitu sana ndio ule mse ana feel hana kitu a get that unezanza na nothing na ufanye something for yourself. Mm. The yeah. same case applies to you. The only place where success comes before work is in the dictionary. Just get out of that and akule nje hustle do anything. Who's that biscuits? I mean do something hata kama ni kidogo. Usichague tu kwa sababu wao oh, mimi nimesoma kitu fulani unasikia eh, mlaamua hapa amefanya nursing. Yes, yes. Alafu naona sasa hii is trying to hustle on the side and on the internet, on the internet to make yes. do. Although mimi na doubt sasa vile nadunganga hawa watu sindano kwa OC. Hizi <laughs> jokes. Na hizi jokes zake zote. Sitakuwa tu mchezo tu. Ndakamu. Bele mlamwa on a serious note. Yes. On a serious note. Hata serious coin. Ni sawa tu. Ah, kwenda. Cheki. Bado unaenda nga KNH? Yeah, mimi uenda. Kufanya jokes. Eh zii. <laughs> kazi kazi ndo namalizia ni comment ya last size. Eh uh, internship. Yeah. Na wewe wewe we, we take nini serious? Hiyo. Si ndio ukifika serious illness. Eh uh, ukifika huko kuna code of ethics so una dress appropriately. Oh. Appropriately. <laughs> <laughs> then una work according to ethics umefunzwa how to deal with different people. Wewe zileta jokes kwa kazi ka hiyo it's a matter of life and death. So kuna hiyo part na kuna part ya mlash. Okay. Yeah. Na nini inaitwaje eh, chakula ya wagonjwa? Chakula ya wagonjwa hapo na itategemea. Unajua kuna wengine. <laughs> kuna wengine hawana appetite. So kama hawana appetite na wewe uko nayo, hakuna haja irudishe mali hiyo. Si vizuri kwa kabila yetu. <laughs> uh, question ya uh, ukijana anaitwa Kibet mazi. Wasa wanasema ni depression that ilifanya aende amwe kuingia state house na kisu. Si ndio? Mm -hmm. What do you feel about that? Because first of all state house mimi nikiongea from the sidelines naweza sema one uh, wako ina fix juu wakishika huo jamaa wampeleke ndani, si ndio? Atumike kama mfano kwa watu wengine wenye tabia kama hiyo itasaidia watu maybe wanaweza argue hivyo wasijaribu hiyo kitu ya kwenda kuingia state house. On the other hand, u boys aneza kuwa na problem tu ya ukweli na alikuwa amesema Facebook and stuff. How do you deal with that? Uh, to start with, state house is a very prohibited place and well guarded yes. everywhere. Kwa sababu ni state house. Ndiyo mwana nito state house. Kwa sababu hapo ndiyo kiongozu wa inchi huka. Plus a whole lot of uh, uh, staff members. Uh, iyo move hata mimi. I don't understand the stand that guy was moving, yes. or was trying to pull. Kwa sababu, maze, awa so wako huko na ma shades, si juu vila hako. And that is why I think the guy needs to be checked. I don't think the guy is okay. okay. I think, uh, alafu naona ni fifth year engineering, 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 engineering student. student. Yes. Engineering <laughs> students, engineering students, or ama, any person who is an engineer is very good. So, yes, yes. so um, say, and as a pengine ali soma sana. Unajua ni fifth year. So there is there is so much in his head. Aka or there is some discovery he wanted to make at state house. So you never know. He needs a. Um, <laughs> he needs. He needs to be talked to. Yes. I, it might not really be depression, yes. but 
kuna kitu kuna kitu ama kaota and then akaenda you know <laughs> exactly and thank god is alive by the way really thank god ange pass thank god yes mlamo unaweza kuwa na maoni kwa hiyo story especially na angolia wasi wanasema mama vijana wako na stress yes mshajibu nyinyi wote wawili ni uh, a manifestation ya unaweza toka from anywhere ule msi yako home sahi anasema hana job hana kitu ya kufanya sijui yako na ma certificate kwa nyumba mlamo amefanya nursing na he's making a living from online hiyo job eh, mheshimiwa pale alikuwa anauza biscuit wale wasi wanakimbia anga na city hopa hapa na hapa ndio auze sweet wote inamaanisha they have a future true or false true eh, na that said unasema nini about boys mwenye yako na stress mtaani juu ya ukiwa uh, ukiwa na pesa. stress first of all inafa ukubali kwanza ni competitive huku nje unacheki eh mimi wanasema panya zote zoezi chimba shimo the same time au akichimba hapa jaribu kwingine kwenye akuko invested and just be motivated na ufanye kitu usiangalie watu watu wako negative sana mimi nikianza pale twitter ilikuwa comments tu ni, ni matusi paka chini una get but sasa saa hizi wasome gundo ah hii kitu kumbe ni form sasa hii kuna kale ka respect mtu anakutweet na heshima yake ana comment vipo so watu wakiona ukianza wataona like hakuna mali naenda but after wameona umeanza ku pick up they will just support and it be an influence to the others vile mlamu alisema ukiamua tu unafanya anything cha kusikiza negatives there are some people that you need to cut off from your line uh, the, the people who are baggage and especially your friends that is why i keep telling people that when you pray in the morning pray that god protects you from your friends because your enemy cannot pull you down he'll keep talking negative about you but your friend they are kwambia ah hii kitu ni hard hii uwezi try so those are the things that we keep telling uh, and most importantly ku add on to what mheshimiwa has said mtashikanisha hizo makofi most uh, importantly trust in the process yeah uki uwezi anza na followers pole pole tu ukigrow exactly. utaona that is kama ni the same line wapi makofi yao before tukiachilie uende yeah. mnajiongeza mshahara yeah. kujiongeza mshahara yeah. yeah. ilikuwa na issue hapo uongeze ndio niulize sawa unaona kwanza hii pesa kwanza wali reduce size unaona yes ndio watupoteze kabisa una get wangeiongeza hata ikwe a4 hivi unaona size ya a4 ama ama turudi bata trade unajua watu ngeibiwa at ma millions unaona ungekuwa unapata mtu ameficha labda ngozi senti nini kwa hiyo bata ngoja nikwambie amge tufichia manoti kwa nyumba ungekuwa unasikia jamaa labda ako na gunia tatu ya ngozi ya fisi ama kitu kama so hapo tunge ingekuwa ni beta but wametusaidia at least hakuna ati madem kuringa tiao ndo rangi ya thao mko chuani yes yes kama 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 mshahara yenu shida ni haina house allowance ukiambiwa u exchange mshahara yako na ya chief yenye iko na house allowance haya acha tu nikueleze yes or no mtasema no ah thank you very much lazima nikueleze That's it for the weekend edition. See you next week. My name is Dr. Kingori. <laughs>